Hey buddy, welcome back to our channel. Today we'll show you how to solve the plugin missing issue in Comfy UI. If you're interested in Comfy UI's text to image, text to video, and other functionalities, but keep getting plugin missing alerts, this video will comprehensively address all your questions. Let's get started. How to install Comfy UI. For the convenience of beginners, we will start from the very beginning of the download and installation tutorial. If you have already installed it successfully, you can skip this part. The first is Git. All plugin downloads will use this program. Open its official website. The links used in today's video will be placed in the description below. Find, download, and click it. After entering, select your computer version. Here, we take Windows as an example, and then see how many bits your computer information is. If it is 64 bits, choose 64 bits to download and install. After the download is complete, double click to start the program and then click next throughout the process. In this way, the basic environment required for Comfy UI to run is successfully arranged. Next, we download the desktop version of Comfy UI, click the link below and find releases on the right after entering. The one below is its latest version, then find download latest. Select your corresponding version to install and double click to automatically enter the installation interface. Next, the system will prompt you whether you have an NVIDIA GPU. If so, select the first one. If not, select the second one. If you're not sure, you can search for Device Manager in the lower left corner of the desktop, and after entering, look for Display Adapters. This is the GPU in your computer. If not found, then there is no GPU. Just select the second one to install. Okay, the installation process ends here, and then let's move on to our topic today. Resolving missing plugins in Comfy UI. First, let's define what plugin loss means. For example, if you find an excellent workflow online and try to use it, Comfy UI might show a missing plugin error, causing some nodes to malfunction. Many users get frustrated and quit, but fixing this is easier than you think. First, we need to install the first plugin, Comfy UI Manager, which is one of the essential plugins of Comfy UI, which can help us manage all plugins conveniently and quickly. All plugins come from GitHub. Go to the official website of GitHub, search for Comfy UI Manager, and slide to the installation method below. There are three different installation methods here. The first one is the simplest. First, find Comfy UI on the desktop, then right click to open the file location, then enter resources, and then enter Comfy UI. Find the custom nodes folder here, and you can see that there is already a Comfy UI Manager here. This is because we have installed it before. Let's delete it first, then enter CMD in the address bar above and click the enter button on the keyboard. You will enter a command window. Don't worry, this is not complicated. Next, we copy and paste the second line of commands and it will automatically download and install the Comfy UI Manager plugin for us. Finally, it shows done, which means the installation is complete. You will see that the extra folder is the Comfy UI Manager plugin. Next, we reopen Comfy UI and you will see an extra manager in the upper right corner, which means it is successful. Next, we can use the manager to install the plugins we need and then click the first Custom Notes Manager in the middle. You will see a lot of plugins in it. There are more than 400 commonly used plugins, which can definitely meet our daily use. Of course, this does not include all plugins, but don't worry, we will show you a detailed tutorial for manual installation later. When we are missing a plugin or want to download a plugin, we can search it here directly and then click to install. After the installation is complete, Click the restart in the lower left corner to use it. After the restart is complete, return to the original interface, double click the blank space, and then search for the plugin you just used and you can use it directly. Here we take the image reverse plugin WD 1.4 as an example. This is a plugin that can extract prompt words from images. It is very easy to use. We click to install and wait for a while to restart and use it. After restarting, click the plus sign above to create a new blank workflow and then double click the blank space. A search box pops up and enter WD 1.4. The first one is the plugin we just installed. The first model is the basic model we are going to use. Just choose one. Then we click the small blue dot on the left and drag it to the right. It will automatically extend the next node. We choose load image, then click upload, upload an image you want to reverse engineer, click Q, it will automatically download the basic model, wait for the model to be downloaded, and then automatically run the reverse engineering. Look, these are all the prompts for this image. Adjust the threshold, and the level of detail of the prompts will be different. The lower the value, the more detailed the prompts, and the higher the value,
the simpler it will be. If you don't know how to write prompts, this will save you a lot of time. Okay, next, we will enter the advanced tutorial, how to install the missing plugin. The first method is to use Comfy UI Manager to retrieve it. We open the manager in the upper right corner and click Install Missing Custom Nodes. Here, you will be prompted with the plugins missing in the workflow. Just install them all. But Comfy UI Manager is not omnipotent. It also has some niche plugins that have not been included, so we need to learn how to install them manually. First, for simple plugin installation, such as the LTX video we used last time, many fans can't find the Video Combine plugin and can't find it in Comfy UI Manager, so we need to install it manually. First, we open the official GitHub website and then search for Video Combine directly. After entering, click the green button on the right and then copy this link. And then go back to the Custom Nodes folder when installing Comfy UI Manager before. Continue to enter CMD in the address bar, click Enter, enter the configuration environment, enter Git clone and paste the link just copied. It will automatically install the plugin. All missing plugins can be retrieved by this method. Next is the more complicated plugin installation tutorial. Let's take the Joy Caption 2 plugin as an example. This is a very powerful reverse prompt word plugin. We continue to enter the command environment in the custom nodes folder, enter git clone, and copy the link to download the plugin. After the download is complete, we still need a running dependency, which is the requirements.txt file in the Joy Caption 2 folder. This is the running dependency file prepared by the developer for us. We need to install all the files in it before we can use it. As long as you see this file on GitHub, you must install it. At present, the desktop version of ComfyUI does not deploy the Python environment, so we need to reinstall a version of Python above 3.10. We open the official website of Python, download the latest version of Python, and then install it. After the installation is complete, open the file location, enter and find the python.exe file, copy the address bar above, and then go back to the Joy Caption 2 folder, create a new TXT text, enter and paste the address bar just now, and add slash python.x minus s minus mpip install minus r at the end. Requirements.txt, and then enter pause. After saving, change the file suffix txt to bat, and then double click to run it. The purpose is to install the requirements dependency file through Python. You need to do this as long as you see the plugin has this folder. Finally, download the model. There is also a download link below, which is very convenient and fast. Then put it in the specified folder. That's it. All problems are solved. Okay, today's video ends here. Basically, all plugin problems about Comfy UI can be retrieved through the above method. If you think our video is helpful to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Or if you have any other questions, please leave a message in the comment area. We will help you solve it as soon as possible. See you next time.